Good morning everyone. Today we are going to show you how MapleSim can be used to model automotive brake systems using hydraulic and pneumatic components. MapleSim is a multi-physics modeling and simulation tool that can be used to model a variety of multi-domain systems. The list shown on the left hand side shows the components from various domains that are available for modeling. Apart from mechanical components for brake systems, we're going to use pneumatic components and hydraulic components. The model on hydraulics library includes various components which are classified into different functional categories. There are cylinders, directional control valves, different fluid properties, different types of pumps, sensors, valves, etc. Similarly, the model on pneumatic library also includes cylinders, directional control valves, different elements, restrictions, rotary actuators, sensors, sources, and other different types of valves. To demonstrate the use of these components, let us show you some examples. First, we will consider a hydraulic position control system. The model shown on the screen is an example of a PI controller that is being used to control the position of a sliding mass connected to a cylinder operated by a servo valve. The components here is a flow source which is a pump that is connected through a servo valve to a hydraulic piston. The piston is connected through a spring damper system to a sliding mass. The PID controller is used to follow a response that is expected from the system. When simulated, the PID controller tries to achieve the exact same movement of the sliding mass as commanded as a target value. To simulate a model, we need to click on this button or press the key F5, which opens up our analysis window. The plots here show the variation of the mass flow rate of the fluid and the pressure variation in the cylinder. The plot on the right shows the targeted response in green and the actual response in red. It actually shows that the system captures the dynamic effects of the hydraulic flow as well as the inertial delay of the spring mass damper system. The animation on the bottom shows this response in a graphical fashion. This particular example of hydraulic cylinder position control can be found under Help, Examples, Model on Hydraulics Example, General Models. Now let us show you how a pneumatic system can be modeled using MapleSim. This particular example of a speed controlled pneumatic motor can be found under Help, Examples, Model on Pneumatic Examples. In here, the speed of a pneumatic vane type motor is controlled by a tuned PID controller. The vane type motor component is shown here, which is driven by a pressure source that is controlled by the PID controller directly. The motor drives an inertial load that is acted by a brake torque actuated by a particular signal. The objective of the controller is to keep running the motor at a designated reference speed which also follows a signal pattern. When simulated, MapleSim calculates the system response and displays in form of graphs. In this plot we see the brake torque command which activates at a little under one second and it also shows the speed desired versus speed actual response for the system. Furthermore it calculates the mass flow rate and the pressure variation in the pneumatic chambers and displays them all together. This model shows how the hydraulic and pneumatic components can be used to construct a high fidelity automotive brake system. In this model, this component represents the 
standalone subsystem that captures the longitudinal dynamics of a vehicle. The vehicle is being actuated by a torque driver applied to its wheel and brake torques on the front and rear axle. The brake torques are actuated by the double acting cylinders which are powered by the brake pedal through the vacuum booster. The brake pedal is actuated by the driver using a translational force. The brake pedal model consists of mechanical components which captures the inertia of the brake pedal, the compliance in the brake pedal, and the mechanical advantage of a lever. The vacuum booster model contains mechanical and pneumatic components. Structurally, the vacuum booster connects the brake pedal to the master hydraulic cylinder. The brake pedal is connected to a rod that passes through the booster into the master cylinder, actuating the master cylinder piston. The engine creates a partial vacuum inside the vacuum booster on both sides of a diaphragm. When the brake pedal is hit, the rod opens a valve allowing air to enter the booster on one side of the diaphragm while sealing off the vacuum on the other side. This increases pressure on one side of the diaphragm so that it helps to push the rod in the other direction. In this fashion, the booster helps to actuate the master cylinder, which improves the brake feel and safety. The master cylinder model contains mechanical and hydraulic components that convert mechanical and pneumatic pressure into hydraulic pressure. There are two cylinders included in this model. There are two cylinders in this model which acts as a failsafe for the actual brake system. The master cylinder converts hydraulic pressure and feeds it to the slave cylinders which actuates the brake calipers. These in turn applies the braking torques to the front and rear axles. When simulated, it can be seen that the action of the braking pe brake pedal movement by the driver brings the car to a halt. The variation in the pedal travel, the brake line pressure, and the brake torque applied to the wheels are also visualized in these plots. This animation shows the system response in a graphical fashion. This concludes our presentation for today. We thank you for your time and attention. Please feel free to contact us for further information.